Hello and welcome to another video update for the Belmont Middle and High School Building Committee. My name is Diane Miller and I am here today with our chair, Bill Lavallo, and also with fellow committee member, Dave Blazon, who is the director of facilities. Uh, we are standing here today in the Central Commons, and otherwise known as the cafeteria, and we're gonna talk about this space today and about what makes it so much more than just a cafeteria. Um, so, Bill, why don't you kick us off with talking a little bit about the visioning and where we started well, on we'll this process. Well, we'll go back to 2017 when mm -hmm. this project started. We brought the community in and started talking about what, for the school project, what different areas were important to them and, and what they needed to feel like. And certainly, uh, they talked about a place where a lot of people, a lot of meetings go on, a lot of people, kids uh, meet, and it needs need to be a multifunctional space. Uh, flexibility came in, daylight, right, we, and, uh, and access to the public. Mm -hmm. Public need to use this a lot. Uh, need to have durability and so forth worked in. And, and so Central Commons actually isn't a bad name for when you, instead of cafeteria. So, and that's sort of how it, it uh, evolved. And now, uh, Dave, how much is it used? Oh, it's, it's used from the moment the school starts to the last hour of the day. Uh, you'll have kids coming in for their breakfast. Uh, they'll all sit in the area at these uh, multifunctional tables. Um, this, this area is... Uh, you know, versatile to, to accommodate all different needs. Um, you'll have lunch in, in the middle of the day. Uh, you'll have it broken down and set up for meetings, uh, after school programs. A lot of kids will go around and they'll use it for uh, in between periods. We'll have free time uh, to, you know, work on a project or anything like that. So it's, it's quite a uh, versatile space. And so there really are not that many walls in the space either. It really kind of flows through the entire building. Um, and I'm wondering sort of how, how that's used. So um, it has a, a wide variety of options. Uh, you have this beautiful window wall that walks out to a terrace, which is right next to Claybrook Pond. Um, it, it overflows to the upper spaces where you have the library and breakout areas. It uh, joins into the uh, commissary where you have the, the lunches. It will further go back into the middle school. So it's really, as you said, the central hub of the entire school. It basically connects both wings together. And so you mentioned the middle school. Let's talk about that for a moment because we are soon going to be opening up this next uh, fall. So right now it's just the high schoolers using this. Obviously, when the middle schoolers come into the building, how, how is that going to work? Do they share the space? Do they have their own separate space? So each, each, uh, each section of the middle school will have two lunches. Um, at the earlier portion of the day, and then the high school is, will come in with three lunches right behind them. And uh, believe it or not, they'll be able to get all, all five lunch periods uh, all condensed in, into this one space. And then we also created, uh, when the temporary construction wall gets uh, knocked down behind me, we've created the middle school portion of the cafeteria where they'll be, uh, have their own space for seating and, and sort of collecting. Right. during those mm. lunch times. So they, use, so they all use the same servery to get their food, yes. but when it's time to eat, the high schoolers will be eating in this space, the middle schoolers have and, a separate space. seating space. Yes. So uh, another part of the servery in, in that serves the servery is the kitchen. How has that changed now between what, what used to be the old high school kitchen and, and what's coming on in the new kitchen? Well, what's, what's nice uh, to report is the school is all electric. There's no fossil fuels in the school. At that was all. a big vision. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So um, all the ranges are electric, all the heating uh, units are electric, uh, the ovens are electric. So it, it's just a great testament to, to uh, the Energy Committee and what they're trying to strive for. And you could, you're still, you're going to be serving 2,200 plus students. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. and again, the, the flexibility, the ability to do that, uh, all electricity, yeah. no problem. Absolutely. That, that's Absolutely. cool. Another thing that this space offers is some flexibility with, uh, and I remember this in the visioning, for the public to come in and be able to set up different events. Mm -hmm. And we have portable monitors in the building that could plug into the floor. So mm -hmm. this is, you have so many opportunities here really, in this space. It really does. And, you know, as we mentioned earlier, the, the tables are all movable, interchangeable. 
Uh, you can set up for a large conference room. You can set up for almost a dance floor if you a banquet. To, yeah. or a banquet or anything. Yeah. So it has a lot of uh, a lot of options. Now, one thing that came up during the design of the school and the open spaces was the concern of noise. And we've talked about yes. this before. And this this was a, a comment that came in with the old school because of so many hard surfaces. And and we spent a lot of time working with our design professionals to and the acoustic consultants to really make sure that uh, the noise levels in here were, were controlled. How do you think it's turning out based on reports that you hear? I think it's amazing. Uh, you know, you'll have, as you said, you know, hundreds of kids in here having lunch or some type of get together. And, you know, you have the second floor library space. You can hardly hear anything going on right here. You have the office right down the hallway. Everyone can have a conversation and it's not like overbearing or anything like that. I think it's a job well done. Good. Yeah. Good. And what about maintenance? How is it to maintain? Well, because of the hard services, it's a lot easier to take care of. Um, whether it goes to the, uh, the vinyl seats, uh, the, the tile floor, uh, the windows, they're all hard services, uh, very little staining uh, ability. It's all just wipe, wipe clean. Yeah, we so. talked about tile on the walls for, mm -hmm. for durability, so mm -hmm. it's holding yep. up well. Yep. And one yeah. thing, uh, so, excuse me, was uh, we had the portable shades that will come down here and just darken this uh, space as well. So if the sun gets a little bright out there, uh, we'll just take that, you know, that bearing sun into this area and uh, also allow you to do any, more video. It's, it's interesting to hear you talk about the sound absorbing materials and the hard surfaces at the same time. And it's pretty remarkable, right, that we have all these durable hard surfaces and yet the noise is not too, too hard. Um, so that's, that's a job well done, I think. Yeah, so the last thing is, is, uh, what, is it, what do we have for capacity in here roughly? Uh, you know, we talk about flexibility, but what are we seating for students roughly middle school, high school? Uh, the high school is about 350 seats, and uh, the middle school is just slightly under that. Uh, so, um, so when we're, did we get 700, capacity. almost 700 yeah, here? When, yeah, wow, yeah. it's incredible. So, it's great. Job well done? Absolutely. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so right. much, Dave, thank and you. thank you, thank Bill, you. and thank you for joining us. Um, we will be having another video update soon about the field house, I think is what we're going to be talking about next. So, thanks again. Thank you.